How's it going, peoples and gentle thems, and welcome back to the channel here with myself, Smack the Streamer, or just Smack if you prefer. Now, recently, this past Saturday on the 8th of October, we hosted a 12-hour live stream over on the Twitch channel in order to raise funds for the Meningitis Research Foundation. For those who maybe don't know what the Meningitis Research Foundation is, or MRF, here's a little bit of information on them. Their vision is a world free from meningitis and septicemia. Their role in that is to support and connect people to research and drive action that will save lives. To do this, they have four main goals and outcomes that they are working towards. Goal one is to enable better research for better evidence and policy. The main outcome from this is so that scientists, researchers, and public health practitioners will be better informed on meningitis, they will understand it more, and more importantly, the impact it has on people's lives. Goal two is to transform public and policy engagement in meningitis. The hopeful outcome for this is that meningitis will become a global priority. More people will be aware of the signs and symptoms, more people will seek help when they need to, and patient groups will be stronger and better supported to advocate for meningitis. Goal three is to secure the profile and the funds to allow them to deliver their goals. And goal four is to grow their capacity and deliver this at scale. Their own chief executive, Vinnie Smith, says by 2030, they want to see meningitis defeated. Now you know a little bit more about MRF as a whole, let's try and understand meningitis itself. Meningitis is a serious, life-threatening illness. It involves a swelling around the lining of the brain and spinal cord, and it's caused mainly by germs entering into the body. People downplay meningitis quite a bit, but it can literally kill you in hours and anyone, anywhere, of any age can get it. Although, as always, there are some groups that are a higher risk than others. So what causes meningitis? Well, different germs like bacteria, virus, and fungi can actually cause meningitis. Bacterial causes are usually more serious than the others. Viral meningitis is almost never life-threatening. Fungal meningitis is very, very rare in the UK and Ireland, usually only affects people with weakened immune systems. There are vaccines which can be used to protect against meningitis, but there are still some causes of it which are not vaccine preventable. And sometimes the best form of protection is prevention. As well as that, understanding the symptoms and how quickly to seek help. People often mistake the symptoms for other illnesses, more common day-to-day -day things that you'll experience, like, like colds and hangovers and flu-like symptoms. You'll see now to the side here an image displaying what the symptoms are. You yourself may have seen some and gone, I was fine, it was just a minor thing. I'd been out the night before, I was hungover, you know, I just, I felt rough. Well, for all you know, that could have been meningitis. You could have led yourself down a very dangerous path by ignoring the symptoms. One of the most public common knowledge things is the meningitis rash. And it's important that if you do experience a rash, try the Tumblr test. The image to the side now was taken directly from MRF's own website, meningitis.org, where you can see exactly how to administer the Tumblr test and exactly how it should look. The key thing in managing meningitis is, as with so many other illnesses, early diagnosis. Being aware of the symptoms, knowing what to look out for, and knowing when to seek medical help. But this isn't a downer video, this isn't a negative, this is me taking the opportunity to inform a little bit on meningitis, what it is and the work that the MRF do, and to thank everyone who took part in our live stream, who donated towards the cause, and who quite literally made a difference to people's lives with the money that they chose to share. We all appreciate just how difficult times are just now, and for those who chose to donate what little change they had, I thank you for me personally, and from all the families that you will have helped. If you haven't done so already, you can head over to the website that you see at the bottom of your screen here, www.meningitis.org, for more information, more uh, guidelines, resources, and just things to look out for. If you want to help, they do have a volunteer and a get in touch section as well. In the meantime, thank you again to everyone who took part, who donated, and more importantly, thank you to Meningitis Research Foundation for the help, guidance, and support that they offer to families who were afflicted by this horrible illness. Peace.